<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I want to show you all a modification to the Monoprice or MP Select Mini 3D printer, and this is how to set up and install a glass bed on the printer. You might be wondering why you want to upgrade to a glass bed. Well, that way you don't have to use tape, you don't have to use build talk, you don't have to use the actual bed itself. Plus, you get a pretty stable foundation with that, and as an add bonus, the bottoms of your 3D prints will look nice and shiny. So, so far, I have enjoyed printing with glass, and it's been recommended several times uh, to myself and also on the uh, Monoprice MP Select Mini owner's subreddit, I believe that's what it is. So I want to show you all how to set it up because it's quite simple to do. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a print right here, and this is what I just did after setting up everything, but we want to get to this point. So we're going to need a few things. First off, I'm going to show you right here, all the links are going to be down below in the description. I'm going to be using some binder clips. Now these clips are a little bit small, uh, they're kind of on the small side, they just barely get it on there, however they were cheap, it was $3 for a dozen, and I end up getting them. You're also going to need glass, which you can use a glass picture frame, and I'm going to be straight up, this is what I used, right? But I actually don't really recommend getting this if you don't have to, like if you absolutely have to or you're really lazy. The link's going to be down below for this in the description, but as you can see, this is $5.41. You can go to a dollar store, you can go to a thrift store. Uh, I actually just recently went to a thrift store and they were selling picture frames for one or two dollars. Just get one of these picture frames, make sure you clean it really well, just clean both sides of it with some uh, isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel, and you should be good to go at that point. But again, my recommendation, only get this right here if you're really lazy or you can't get it anywhere else. If you go to a dollar store, a thrift store, or you look around your house, you can get a 5x7 picture frame. And you can get a bigger one or a smaller one. This is the one we are using, and I'll show you all everything once we get to it. Um, but it still works. And then finally, what I use for this is I use this Free and Clear Hairspray Firm Hold. Now, this isn't for my hair. This is actually for the printer. I used to use it on the printer bed itself but now I use it on the glass so that way you don't have to use tape you don't have to use build talk or build tack you don't have to use anything else you just spray this on here every few prints you rub it on the glass and you're good to go at that point your prints will just slide off easily so this is going to be for more of the after thing but to get this all started we absolutely need some glass whichever one you're picking I'm gonna use a 5 by 7 picture frame and you're also going to need something to clip it on what I use is these binder clips you can get some that are a little little bit bigger but these ones just barely work on there so now assuming you have all your materials you have your printer and more importantly you also know how to level your printer we can go ahead and get started by going to the printer now that we're at the 3d printer you want to go to move go to home access select the option and you want to wait for your printer to reset to the home access and once it is done turn it off from the back once you have access to all the screws by moving the hot end a little bit away from the home access you want to go ahead and move the bed down quite a bit. I'm just showing where the screws are, but I am not moving it because my bed has already been leveled, but you want to lower it quite a bit. Once it has been lowered and cleaned and your glass has been cleaned as well too, you want to take your glass and you want to lower your bed enough to the point where you can move your glass underneath the hot end. As you can see, mine fits just fine right there. Now what you want to do is grab a piece of paper, put the glass underneath the nozzle on each corner, and then once you do that, you want to to move the piece of paper between the glass and the nozzle and you want to move it around so that way you have a little bit of friction going underneath the piece of paper and the nozzle and it can comfortably move around and when you move it from place to place you don't have the nozzle moving the paper around everywhere if your glass is not big enough to cover the whole bed just move around the glass to that corner and do this on every corner if you own this printer you should be extremely familiar with this leveling process now that you have everything dialed in and leveled on every corner, you want to lay down the glass. You want to make sure, at least if you're using a 5x7 frame right here, what I do is I leave a little bit hanging off the front and the back of the bed, and then on the left side I make sure it's completely covering it, and there's a tiny sliver on the right side where it doesn't cover it. That's fine. And then what I do is I take these binder clips and I just put them on each corner. So you want to put them on the front and the back. Don't put them on the side. And if you're using the same size I'm using, what I do is I make sure they are barely clipped onto the bed. So that way they really aren't interfering with the bed and they aren't interfering with the hot end or any of the components on that. 
While you're doing this and as you finish up, I'd also recommend moving around the bed, moving around the nozzle, and trying to knock these binder clips off. And if you can't knock them off and you can't get them to touch, you should be good. Now if you're using my exact method, this is how my printer is set up. The glass is a little bit off of the bed and I have two clips in the back and I mirror the same thing in the front and it seems to work quite well for what I do. Finally, at this point, you might be wondering how you should print and how you should properly do this. Well, at least the method I am doing and this is why I am using the hairspray right here. You want to make sure first off again that your glass bed is clean so you can clean that off with a paper towel and isopropyl alcohol. Again, highly recommended you do that prior to doing the setup on here. But once you have that done and you have the bed laid down, what I do is I take some hairspray, I just put a few sprays on it right here all over the bed, and then I take the paper towel and just rub it up and down on the glass. You don't want to rub it like you're cleaning it, but just kind of lightly rub it like you're trying to spread it around on purpose so you get that layer all around the bed itself. Once you do that, you should be ready to print. Now we're at the last step. We have to actually test it and print something and make sure everything is even and it looks good when you're laying down the foundation. So what I do is I print with PLA and my settings are 205 Celsius for the hot end and 60 degrees Celsius for the bed itself. You want to make sure you heat up the bed so that way the layer actually sticks down with the hairspray and all that fun stuff. But once you have your bed heated, you have all your settings dialed in, you want to try out a print. And when you are printing out, look at the foundation and make sure everything looks even, everything is good to go, because it's going to be a bit of a waste if you do this and your foundation is just all over the place. So you want to make sure the biggest part is make sure everything is even and everything is coming out of the nozzle nicely. Now if you're printing and your prints start looking like this, where they are all even and clean and you have a good foundation, congratulations, you have successfully modified your printer to print with a glass bed. So that's really all you need to do. Occasionally, clean it with some isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. Every few prints, put some more hairspray on there and spread it around. But aside from that, you're ready to rock. Hope this tutorial helped you all out. If it did, a like would very much be appreciated. If you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well too. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. Let me know what you thought of this.